Sid, I... I know that when we came to the hideaway, we chose to let go of our past in order that we might focus on our future. We did. Nonetheless, I was wondering if... Well, I know you are from Rosaria, and I'm in need of someone with intimate knowledge of those lands. Apparently, the duchy is home to all manner of curative herbs found nowhere else in the realm. Among them is a flower called a Morgan beard that increases the potency of lesser medicines. I can't say that I've had much practice healing. My youth was spent in the Bailey. A shame. You see, the hideaway relies heavily upon medicines procured from afar. And when those shipments are late, well, it's our sick who suffer. If we could find this flower and learn to grow it here, we might save many lives. However, as you are well aware, Imperial occupation has rendered the roads unsafe for those like me, untrained in the military arts. Now, I'm not asking the busiest man in the hideaway to drop everything and make the journey for me, but if you happen to be in the duchy on other business... Tell me of these Morgan beards, then. But of course, if my old tomes are to be believed, the flowers are bright yellow and as large as goblins' eyes. Oh, and they grow in the marshes of Sorrowise. If I am to propagate them here in the backyard, I will require several samples, preferably of blooms which have already gone to seed. And before I forget, I do seem to recall learning in the course of my research that their odor has the tendency to attract unsavory creatures. Nothing you cannot handle, though, I'm sure. Morgan beards supposedly favor the dampest of climes. I would recommend you focus your search on areas of marshland. The marshes near the Abbey are certainly damp. Let's see if they're damp enough for Morgan beards. <laughs> yellow. These are our Morgan beards, all right. Well, I've gone to this much trouble. There's something familiar about this scent. It reminds me of home. Hopefully this will be enough. I've had my fill of goblins.
It is rare that we see you so often in the backyard, Sid. What brings you to the gardens? I found your flowers. Yes, yes, wonderful. These are almost identical to the plates in my tome. Did you have any trouble locating them? Finding them was the easy part, but it's odd. They remind me of my childhood somehow. I don't remember these flowers specifically, but you must have grown them in the castle garden. If the petals are meant to improve the effectiveness of medicines, it's possible that the core physicus grew them for the tinctures and treatments they made my brother. If the ducal healers were convinced of their properties, that is all the more reason to begin growing our own supply here. Oh, allow me to use some of the flowers you brought me to make something that might aid you on your travels. I need only a moment to extract the essence from the petals. And here we are. A phial of pure Morgan Beard extract. A single drop added to any one of your restoratives will increase its potency. At least I hope it will. it then. I'm buggered. Here, Sid. Reckon you might be just the man to help me out of a bit of bother. If you've a mind to. Let's hear it. Well, it's about this alembic the Chief's got me making. Lovely bit of kit it is. Bung in a solution you want split in and it will separate it out just like that. Problem is... It won't always get rid of all the impurities. And with some of the stuff we need it for, that ain't good enough. Which is why I've been looking for something to filter the liquid we'll be cooking off. And that's where I was hoping you could help me out. I imagine Ty could get some use out of this Alembic too. Distilling medicines and the like. All right, why not? Proper job! So what exactly do you need for this filter? Nothing but bomb ash will do, says the chief. Gave me a sample she'd obtained from the university stores. Couldn't believe my eyes. You pour the blackest blight water through it, and it comes out clear as a mountain stream. So, I did a bit of reading about where I might be able to get hold of some. And do you know what I found out? It's only the blimmin' bones of a bomb king. They leave them behind when they die, see? I take it that's where I come in. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. I, I, I saw a billet on the hunt board for one just the other day. Would have gone myself, but, well, fighting dirty great balls of flame isn't exactly my forte. You, on the other hand. All right. I'll see what I can do. Thank you kindly. And, and a good hunting, eh? I've tried to find a supplier for this stuff, but it's rare as Chocobo's teeth. Either someone brings down a bomb king and picks up the ash, or... I don't know.
journey's over. Now to collect the ash. This looks like the stuff. Let's see if there's any more. That should do it. If a wine needs more than this, he can fetch it himself. All right there, Sid. How's that hunt for the bomb ash going? I have it here. That's the stuff. And plenty of it, too. Enough to keep the Olympic bubbling away for a good old while. You're a gent, Sid. Let nothing say otherwise. Right then. Let's get this contraption up and running. Telemon Malembic. And it works just like the Chief said it would. <gasps> Very impressive. <laughs> Says the man who cut down a burning boulder. Speaking of which, I still haven't returned a the favor. There's no need. The good it will do for the hideaway is reward enough. Don't be silly. Why don't you let me take a look at that bag of yours? The one you keep your potions in. Reckon I could work some magic on that, huh? What kind of magic? Well, we happen to have isolated a substance in our test run of the Alembic that I reckon will make even the toughest lever supple as anything. Thought we might use it to breathe new life into old boots and the like. Save the hideaway a few, Gil. Ah, I reckon if we slap a bit on your bag, it'll loosen it up enough you to squeeze in a bottle or two more. Well, it can't hurt to try, I suppose. That's the spirit. Leave it with me. I'll only be a mo. Well, what do you reckon? It certainly feels more of Flexible. Right? Told you. Thank you. I think. No, no. Thank you for supporting Mid and the rest of us in our endeavors. Without you, we'd never have been able to discover wonders like that stuff I rubbed on your bag. And I'm telling you, there's plenty more where that came from. Leather loosener was only the first of the discoveries the Olympics gonna help us make. Just you wait, Sid. Just you wait! Sid, do you recall the flowers I had you bring back to the yard? Vaguely. Is something wrong? I'm afraid so. I was able to get most of the Morgan beards to take root, but they rarely flower. I fear the soil here does not agree with them. However, I believe I have a solution. I can't wait to hear it. I'm going to marry the Morgan Beards with Morbles. I know, I know, but hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient-rich ether drawn from their environs. I believe that by grafting a Morble vine to a Morgan Beard, the appendage's wealth of vigor-inducing nutrients might well stimulate the flower to bloom. The endeavor, I assure you, is scientifically sound. I simply need a vine to prove the theory. And all you need is a single vine 
from an ordinary morble. That is correct. A single vine. As for the morble, I fear ordinary may not suffice. But, as luck would have it, a most extraordinary specimen is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosaria. Why? A notice concerning this very creature was only recently posted on the hunt board. How timely. Well, I shan't keep you any longer. I know you have much to do, as do I. Now, where did I put my watering can? Those who encountered this mobile in Rosaria claim it was as large as a house. Think of all the ether it must have consumed to attain such a prodigious size. Its vines will be bursting with untold vigor.
was definitely anything but ordinary. Now, let's get this vine back to the yard. It is rare that we see you so often in the backyard, Sid. What brings you to the gardens? I found your flowers. Yes, yes, wonderful. These are almost identical to the plates in my tome. Did you have any trouble locating them? Finding them was the easy part, but it's odd. They remind me of my childhood somehow. I don't remember these flowers specifically, but you must have grown them in the castle garden. If the petals are meant to improve the effectiveness of medicines, it's possible that the core physicus grew them for the tinctures and treatments they made my brother. If the ducal healers were convinced of their properties, that is all the more reason to begin growing our own supply here. Oh, allow me to use some of the flowers you brought me to make something that might aid you on your travels. I need only a moment to extract the essence from the petals. And here we are. A file of pure Morgan Beard extract. A single drop added to any one of your restoratives will increase its potency. At least I hope it will. the ironworks. Ah, Sid. <laughs> Just the man I was hoping to see. D -d -d Did you have a mo? Don't tell me. You need more bomb ash. Oh no. We still got plenty of that left. I'm working on bringing another one of the Chief's designs to life. This time, it's a new smelter. It's got a reverberatory hood over the top for additional thermo amplification and a system of reciprocal recirculatory regenerators that, that, um, let's just say it gets very blimmin' hot. A heck of a lot hotter than anything Blackthorn's got in his forge, that's for certain. Only mithril engines get hotter, and you can't chuck ore in one of them and get metal out the other end. <laughs> Trouble is, we won't be able to make out of any old rubbish, neither. We need the good stuff. And I hear you once helped Helena get her hands on exactly that. Any chance you could help me too? If it's for the good of the hideaway, I'd be happy to. Oh, it is. I promise you. So, what exactly is this good stuff you need me to find? We've got a couple of examples here. Spherical echoes, we call them. More fallen materials. So this smelter is similar to the mithril engine in more ways than one. That's right. They're a bit like the thermal helms. Fallen ceramics deal with heat like nothing else, see? And what's more, they're directional. Transferring heat from the inside to the outside. But these things, they're all outside. If we line the hub with them, they'll reflect the heat right back into the furnace. We've collected as many as we can, and I know where we can get the rest. Trouble is, they're all watched over by their bigger, uglier cousins. So you want me to visit some ruins, destroy some echoes, and bring back the spheres they're guarding? That's it in a nutshell, yeah. We're only three short, mind, and we know exactly where they are. There's one up Amber Way, in that ruin that they call Lost Plume. 
and another in the Silent South over in Dalmechia. Last one is in the ruins of Abven, which is in the Empire. All right then. Wish me luck. It'll do. I'll be keeping all my fingers and toes crossed. Can't say I've ever been to the Silent Sound myself. No Advent, for that matter. I've hardly ever been out of the duchy, to tell you the truth. Did get the chance to visit Lost Plume once, though. What a piece of work that place is. Would have stuck around to study the relics more. If half of them hadn't been trying to blimmin' kill me. <laughs> This is it. Right then. Just two more to find. This might take a while. to go. all of them. No one can uncross his toes now. ...of of Akashic. We'll need to find another port. Ah, Sid! Wasn't expecting you back so soon. 
So, is it good news or bad? Good, thankfully. Here. Ah, that's brilliant! Thanks a blimmin' million! I'll fit them to the smelter right away! May I present to you... The Telemon Furnace! In bad is she? She's a beauty. You saved my beacon again, Sid! And I ain't about to let your good deed go unrewarded. It's it's fine, really. My bag's uh, flexible enough already. Oh, don't say that. I'm sure I can make a few improvements to it yet. You could just buy me a bigger. How about that clasp? Looks a bit stiff. Reckon you could loosen it up and make some more room. And I reckon I know how. With a new alloy we've been working on. The Telemon Furnace was just what we needed to perfect it. It's a metal, see? So it's lovely and strong, but it's also, well, stretchy, if you can believe it. Stretchy metal. <laughs> well, if you insist. That is the spirit. You'll love it, I promise. What do you reckon? <laughs> it's actually quite ingenious. Thank you, Owain. Shh, don't mention it. You earned it. And I wanted to get some practice in using that metal anyway. Reckon we'll have all kinds of uses for it around the hideaway. Can't think of any right now, but that's our job, isn't it? Dreaming up new ways to make life easier around here. Maybe even out there, too. One day, the whole world's gonna know about the inventions you've helped us put together. That bag of yours will be the first of many. You mark my words. They'll hardly believe their eyes, I'm sure. Then. Let's get back to work. These world-changing inventions ain't gonna invent themselves. 